It's January 16th today, and let's see what temperature we have. So I got a little digital sending unit to show me in sight about what the temperature is running. I'm not really happy with the quality, but I got it for 10 bucks, so what can you expect? It gives me a ballpark figure. But I'm calling this right now 22, 20, 26 degrees, yeah. Let me get it here. Yeah, 26 degrees. Beginning mileage. 39870.8 Hello all my YouTube friends and friends on various other sites that watch my video I have a question today that a subscriber asked me to throw out there and I will answer it myself and then give it to you guys to answer he asked uh what is your what do you no what what do you expect to accomplish by posting your videos to YouTube? And I put that out to a lot of my friends that started on live video before they ever had a YouTube channel. I actually had an old YouTube channel back when I was on live video and I only I don't even use it anymore. I only used it for posting uh videos of my cats and it's long dead I don't even know if I've been logged into it in like forever so I will tell you my original reason my question to add to it is is the reason that you had when you started posting videos the same reason you're continuing to do it or is it a different reason now now I will say for myself I'm still doing it for the ex same exact reason that I did in the first place. But I did come up with at least one other good additional reason that even should my regular reason did not be primary, I could uh, still be driven to post a lot of other videos just because of this. My first and foremost reason was to become part of a community or to uh, help form a community to where us bikers all over the uh, United States and Canada and uh, by extension to other places in the world would form a community of really good friends so that wherever we travel there would always be a safe place for help, a safe place uh, possibly to stop for the night, somebody you can trust, somebody you can get a hold of because it can get really lonely sometimes you're out on the road and you're not traveling with other bikers and you're by yourself. Being stranded out in the middle of nowhere. It was a lot worse in the days before cell phones because you could still, most places in the country, at least get a hold of help and have help coming your way. But for people like me on a budget, that can get really costly to call up roadside services and stuff like that and have them take care of your problem and it can put such a dent in your budget sometimes it could uh, totally destroy your vacation plans and uh, if you aren't even halfway into your vacation time that could be really bad to run out of the rest of your money just for the simple fact you don't have a friend you could call up and they could help you get your bike over to their place and maybe do some simple repair or something like that to get by and you could be on your way. So yeah, my original goal was to form a community or to be a part of a community if one was already forming. It was kind of a little bit of both because uh, those of us that were originally on live video kind of came over to YouTube and joined those people that had always been with YouTube in the first place. And then my secondary reason is kind of like the same reason that Navy Thomas told me that he started his channel in the first place. He didn't intend to really uh, be a part of the community. I mean, I'm not saying that he didn't want to be a part of a community, but he didn't. I don't think he was really aware of it that much. His original intention, he told me, was to just post his videos up there as kind of like a record that friends or family could look back on in years to come. And that's kind of like my secondary reason now that 
if some, something should happen and that would be the only reason I would still post just if nothing else for that because I think back in my mind imagine the treasure it would be if somehow back in my grandfather's day or my great grandfather's day or wherever they could have had a camera and somehow recorded audio and video of uh, even just ordinary everyday things and what was important in their life, what they were thinking about. I mean, that would just be such a treasure to have something like that. I don't even have so much as 8mm films. My family didn't even do that. If you want to see, right there, you're looking at, that's my house I lived in, my parents' house actually, when I was 14 years old. They've still kept it in really nice shape. That originally was a garage attached to it that my dad made into a family room. Yeah, that was the family home from uh, when I was 14 to where I was in my 20s. Yeah, but we do have that opportunity to, to do that, to uh, save videos to our computer, but as a backup, put them on YouTube or various other sites, and who knows, maybe your great-great-grandchildren someday will be searching through an archives and see the videos you posted of uh, just ordinary things going on in your life, what you thought about what was important to you. I mean, to get to know an ancestor like that, that would just be absolutely awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure if even uh, anybody in my family even cousins or aunts or uncles or anything like that ever actually filmed anything to do with my family when we were kids because I don't think anybody either had the money for one or decided not to bother with it and just so much easier to take quick pictures and snapshots but I would have really liked some form of recorded sights and sounds And uh, family members are not always good at keeping stuff, too. They tend to, after a couple of generations, they don't remember who anybody is or what anybody is. And I think after a few generations, a lot of family books of photos just kind of get thrown out in the garbage can. And so if you put something up on the Internet, um, there's no guarantee, but, you know, with a little bit of luck in the... Uh, the right site that you posted it at, who knows, may end up seeing our videos way, way off in the future. <laughs> and by the way, I'll give credit to uh, George Herman is the one that came up with this question, and I like simple questions like that. It's a simple question, but the answers can be either simple or complicated, depending on your reasons for why you post videos. So I think I've been rambling on and up for this video. I will talk to you guys later. This is video number five. I was hoping to have video number six by now, but I'm only one behind. The roads are good now, but the ice patches were stopping me before. Okay, I'm out of here. Ending mileage. 39876.1. Eight seven six point one.